Yeah, we we were really, I guess, blessed and lucky is the way to put it, that Nature Magazine put us on the cover. It doesn't happen uh, to most scientists. And if it happens, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those uh, Golden Globe Award. Frame it on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we had that happen this December. It was uh, a picture of an eyeball being rejuvenated. And it was, uh, the title was Turning Back Time. In the book, I talk about what it was like to make a discovery that I think is, is an extremely important one, if, if I'm able to say so, uh, without sounding too pompous. My student, uh, Wan Cheng Lu, who I think will go on to do great things, he managed to figure out that there was a, a way to remove the scratches on the DVD and reset the age of a highly complex tissue in the mouse. Um, which is the eyeball. And so we, we took some mice, we gave them glaucoma, which is one of the leading causes of blindness, or we just let them grow old naturally. And then we gave them this gene therapy, these three genes that are normally turned on when mice are, and we are very, very young, even in utero. And what happened was remarkable. The cells went back in age, their scratches, their epigenetic clock, uh, went in reverse and the mice got their eyesight back. And uh, in the case of glaucoma, we've now improved the, on the method. They get their eye, eyesight back fully as though they were young and not untreated, um, undamaged. And then uh, in the old age, their eyesight came back fully as well. So what does that say? That That's a big deal. I mean, not just for people who need to have their eyes uh, treated, but it's a big deal because what it shows is for really for the first time that there's a reset switch in the body where you can go back to being young again, uh, very rapidly within a matter of a week or two. And this isn't just a temporary reset. We think this is a permanent age reset. And it opens up the possibility that we could treat other organs. Uh, you can just imagine what would happen if we could turn back the age of the brain or the heart, the skin, the liver, uh, and perhaps one day full body rejuvenation. Uh, we hope to treat the first human patient with glaucoma in less than two years from now. We've wow. been working on that. Um, yeah, so that, that's where my entrepreneurial experience comes in. Uh, we don't wait for, uh, for that. But just to finish the point, which I think you raised that's important, is in my book, I talked about this discovery uh, and that, that was uh, 18 months before the, the science world learned about this, which is fun and exciting to me that finally the public can hear directly from scientists. And in this case, hear about it a lot earlier than the Illuminati would and did. <laughs> Having cured blindness, uh, we're now moving on to other disabilities and we're now <laughs> working on curing uh, hearing loss, deafness, uh, which is something, of course, you know, these two things historically were impossible and now we're do, doing on a routine basis, admittedly in mice, but you know, vision and, and hearing, um, they're not too different than what happens in our bodies. And I'm quite optimistic as are, as are my collaborators in the field who are experts on this, that this should translate uh, into human uh, therapies if all goes well. You know, there's a ways to go. I have to say, you know, please don't get too excited just yet because there's some safety things we have to figure out. But the good news is when we reset the eyeball of the mice uh, or even reset uh, many of the organs in a mouse, we didn't see any evidence of any downsides. You know, you might think, well, there's gotta be a downside, sounds too good to be true, but, and, and maybe, maybe it causes cancer. Well, we, we haven't seen any evidence of that. It seems like when you polish those scratches, the, the it, it goes to a certain level and stops. You don't keep polishing until you rub off the information too much. Um, and that's great news. If that's possible, then the sky's the limit. It's similar to the Wright brothers. Uh, you know, you, 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 they knew they could fly. How soon they could, the world could have Boeing 747s. You know, they didn't know, but they knew that it would happen one day.